Hi, everyone. My name is Aisha, and I'm the founder of Moment, the first beverage that lets you drink your meditation. Not long ago, I used to work in a corporate job where my days would be filled with Zoom meetings, to-dos, deadlines. Come 3 p.m., my mind would be frazzled, and I would be stressed out. The usual go-to was to have an afternoon coffee that was laden with sugar, calories, and caffeine. Not only did I find that unhealthy, it would just leave me more jittery and anxious. So I started having more and more adaptogens, some that I had grown up with, such as ashwagandha, tulsi, and alchemy. Recently, they have also been scientifically proven to balance stress and generate the same alpha brain waves as with meditation. They gave me the, the mental clarity and stress relief that I needed. I felt ready to take on the world. So naturally, I started the company to help others access the same feeling. I poured all the adaptogens into a beverage and made sure that it was refreshing and healthy with no added sugar and very low calories. And the customer response has been phenomenal. Our core customers love it. As Ashley says, love the feeling moment gives me. Plus it's healthy, just subscribe. Which is why despite bootstrapping this company 10 months back, we've been able to generate about $70,000 in monthly revenue. This, we're building the first online beverage company and that's exciting for three reasons. Number one, it's an untapped market with only two business beverages online. Two, it allows you to build deep customer connections. And three, the daily consumption nature drives high repeat usage. We've already proven about this work. 35% of our orders come from repeat purchasers, and we have 500 subscribers generating an annual subscription value of $463. What makes it highly scalable is our acquisition strategy, with 80% customers coming from free channels such as online marketplaces, physical sharing, and partnerships. We just launched a collaboration with one of the largest lingerie brands in the world, Victoria's Secret, Pink. And that is exciting because it connects to our core customer, which is 70% women, ages 25 to 55 years old. They have busy lives, but they care about health and believe in self-care. This is a massive market opportunity. 80% people feel stressed on the job, 40% women want healthy products, and functional beverages and teas is a $250 billion market going at 8% per year. 100 million is just a sliver of the market. To get to 10 million, the path is simple. You need 10,000 subscribers, and to get to 100 million, you just need 100,000 subscribers. Our at scale margins are going to be about 70%, which is higher than most beverages given our focus online. To do this successfully, you need both supply chain and growth experience, and we have the best team for that. I've spent 13 years in consumer supply chain, and my co founder has worked on digital growth in some of the most innovative companies in the world. We own the 3 p.m. occasions and beverages are just the beginning. I'm really excited for you to try it and would love to hear your questions. Thank you, Aisha. All right, Ben, you're up next. Please introduce sure. yourself. Hi, I'm Ben Narison. I am a venture partner at NEA. Uh, check size wise, NEA writes checks from about a million and a half dollars up to $150 million. As a venture partner, though, I have a lot of flexibility. So over the last four years where I've been there, I've been doing personal investing as well. And my checks are typically fifty dollars or $100,000. Um, also, I'll, you know, Jackie, I'll make this the place for the live announcement first ever. On Monday, we announced internally that Scott Sundell, the head of the firm and NEA, are backing me to spin out a freestanding seed fund. So it'll be an independent fund. NEA will be the anchor. So, you know, at that point, my shift of attention will be all about seed formation through seed you know, uh, uh, some others have said sort of awesome. something like that and you have to do that. Anyway, so my question here would be all around the margin journey. You know, you're at 30% now, you want to get to 70% scale, maybe a little more color there, particularly um, helping me understand how, the, you know, beverages, it's a relatively heavy product. And so uh, I can see how you get great margin on the core product, you know, are those margins including your shipping landed to the customer? And, and because that doesn't seem like you can save much on that over time, even though you can save much on everything else. All right. Thank you so much, Ben. And that's awesome news. Thank you for sharing that. Cindy. Up, oh, Cindy, you're on mute. Yeah, I'm muted. So, hey, um, yeah. So Illuminate Ventures is a seed stage fund. Uh, we invest uh, pr primarily in the enterprise software category, future of work, uh, cloud applications, SaaS applications, et cetera. Um, we're investing out of our third fund. Our check sizes are typically at minimum 250 up to a million and a half. And um, I, I would say we have a pretty concentrated portfolio. We only do about uh, 15 investments out of each fund. So my, my questions are, uh, there are a couple. I, I didn't see anything about what, 
how this compares in terms of calories and energy profile and, and some of those kinds of things to the drinks that you were comparing it to that you could waste your calories and your sugar and everything else on. And then also, um, I, I've, I've seen because we have a company that's in the analytics space in CPG that the single serve beverages have had a really tough time through COVID. And I'm wondering um, how you come out of that because, you know, companies aren't stocking the refrigerators with anything because no one's there. Um, and so a lot of the order sizes for um, any single serve beverage have, have really gone down pretty dramatically. All right. Thank you, Cindy. Laurel. Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Laurel Toby. I'm uh, the co-managing partner of Supernode Ventures. We're a small early stage fund. We do pre-seed and seed. Uh, my background is uh, I'm a journalist, a business journalist, and then I started a company myself um, and had a success successful exit. Um, we do 50 to 100K checks. We're a generalist fund. Uh, we have... We don't have a particular concentration, um, but we like B2B, SaaS, FinTech, Enterprise, uh, Healthcare. Um, we don't do a lot of media investing, ironically. <laughs> and then uh, the way we help our founders is through media and marketing, um, both connections and just expertise in general. Uh, I guess my question for you, um, Aisha, is around brand ex extensions beyond beverages. I'd just be curious to know what you're thinking about um, as you go forward. All right. Thank you, Laurel. I want to take a couple from the syndicate. Craig is asking, will your product grow the market or will you have to primarily take share from incumbents? And Mauricio is asking, do you manufacture the product? So you want to take those, Aisha? Two yeah, minutes. Yeah, great. Awesome. Thank you so much for the great questions, Ben. Congratulations on you, Glenn. Um, in terms of the margin journey, we currently the 30% does include shipping and to your point the shipping aspect of it is going to is going to decline but not as significantly as the product costs uh, and the production costs are as we hit scale um, on all different fronts the three big things on the production and manufacturing side is one we are going to start moving to uh, printed cans uh, two as we get better rates as we scale from our suppliers and three uh, manufacturing at scale is just going to drive down our costs. And that's how we will reach uh, the 70%. Um, in terms of Cindy's question on how this compares in terms of calories and energy profile, Cindy, in terms of calories, each can is about between 10 to 15 calories. So a lot lower uh, compared to coffee, which on average is uh, depending on the type you have, but it could be anything between uh, 15 to 200 calories. Uh, in terms of the energy profile, what we have seen is that customers don't, that customers actually want mental clarity and stress relief during a busy workday, which is the occasion that we're targeting. They don't necessarily need energy uh, at that time. And so what, what we provide is boost in brain functioning without necessarily the physical energy that sugar would, would otherwise give you. Um, a new question on single serve beverages um, and that being tough, uh, completely agree. Retail has been tough with COVID and that's why we are focusing uh, our energy and resources online, which is uh, a new and growing market. Uh, online groceries during COVID have increased by 40%. Customers are getting more and more comfortable ordering beverages online as well. And um, we are really excited about the, 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 the overall market growth there. Um, in terms of Laurel's question on brand extension or on beverages, definitely, uh, that's uh, totally a part of the plan. We thought about other experiences and products uh, around this around this occasion, and I'm going to answer the rest of the questions uh, in the in the chat. All right, thank you, Aisha. 